Hi, we'd like to take an opportunity to introduce our almost indestructible, flexible digital data displays. Don't try this with your iPod. We're going to drive nails through it here and shake it back and forth and we're going to uh, drive actually three nails. One in the center, one in the bottom center of the digit. And we're going to uh, pull that out and put it up into the uh, top area here and we're going to drive another nail through it. And, uh, this one's lifting up the board underneath it. Actually we can't get it out so we have to use a hammer. Okay. And uh, now we're going to pour some water on it. And actually we're going to submerge it in a bottle of uh, water and show you that the, it has little or no effect the actual display. As I said, don't try this with your MPEG players or video cameras. They won't work too well afterwards. Jacks are connected in the sleeve for adding probes and on the sleeve here is reading Fahrenheit 78-79 degrees. Touch the sleeve, it changes the readings to volts DC. Now using the probes to touch a 9 volt almost dead battery, you read 7.9 volts DC. Another multimeter function of this particular shirt is continuity testing. So we touch the two probes together here, as you see, and flashes a little white lightning bolt on the screen. Mm -hmm. Different types of data can be displayed in as a visual graphics, or they can be displayed as numerics. As you see here on the denim sleeve, we can change numerics to read temperature by pressing the button, and by pressing it again, we can read the heartbeat as 81 pulses per minute. Uh, we can also have that data sent to the digital displays by a biotag watch made by Xmovere uh, through Bluetooth. And here we have a uh, digits ranging from one and a half inches to two inches on the multimeter coat to uh, even larger images. Uh, there's a 19 inch digit. We can go just about any size. The last demonstration we have is an infrared demonstration. You'll see a little white blinking arrow on the right side of the panel, little camera there is taking a picture of it. It's picking up uh, infrared uh, frequencies so we can show these digits and displays in, that only night vision goggles can see in, in military applications or security. Amber strand is a, a sewable copper thread that can be placed in the fabrics uh, and here's some more uses that are shown. 